G'day, welcome to Partaker's Think Spot at the start of a new week on Monday the 21st of November 2011. Today, once more, we have Jim and Joy sharing with us. Over to you, Jim. Hi there. Did you have a good Sunday in church yesterday? Wow, yes, you say. The message really hit home, and although I was made conscious of all my failings, I had the reassurance of forgiveness, but also the challenge to aim higher this week in my Christian life. I really do want to count for Jesus. I'd already made, been made conscious of my needs before yesterday, but God spoke clear and plain, and now I want to answer in the best way I can as I serve him today. He's done so much for me, and I really want to honour him as Lord in my life. However, I realise afresh and know that I need to keep in touch with his power and wisdom in all I do. Mine is insufficient. Doing things God's way is all important to me now. Well, that sounds good. You sound like a mature Christian, and now God is doing a new thing in your life as you take your Christian life more seriously. Perhaps you are launching out on something you've never done before. This is very new today. Maybe this is new to you, but believe you me, countless of others have passed this way before, and in launching out upon this new trail, you will need to share your vision and request others to help you realise your goals, to pray with you, as well as advise you. You may need to swallow your pride and listen to others. Remember Elisha, Elisha the prophet, he listened very carefully to Elijah, before he departed from him, and in providing the cloak he owned, Elijah was passing on more than something to keep Elisha warm, but in so doing, he was saying through that action, the same God I have served faithfully and obediently has equal power and even a double portion to give to you, Elisha, as you step out on his chosen path for you. Yes, we have others to teach us and learn from, but the same Holy Spirit to guide and guard us today. It's true we enjoy our comfort zone, who doesn't? But there are times when we are required by God to step out afresh and trust him in new experiences and see his powerful hand at work in and through us. Yes, I admit, very scary at times, but what does the Lord promise us as we push out from the shore in faith? In Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6, we read these words. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your paths. May I encourage you to read and reread his promises to you. Look out in other places in scripture for his will to be confirmed to you. Little by little, the Lord will make it clear to you as you rely upon him. Meanwhile, why not ask questions of others who have gone the same path or a similar pathway that you are taking? And you may well see a pattern developing as you obey him. You may remember Israel in the book of Exodus when they came to the Red Sea after being in slavery in Egypt. They certainly hadn't been that way before. The Red Sea. A dead end? Had it been a fruitless journey? Was this now an impossible situation? What did Moses do with a million voices demanding an answer? He prayed. And the Lord showed him the very truth that we've been reading in Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. You see, Moses, as he came to the Red Sea, with a million people to take care of, he commanded Israel as they came to the Red Sea, Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. That's in Exodus chapter 14, verse 13. And when he did this, what was the result? A miracle took place, and the incredible took place, because we have an amazing God. The waters acted for them, and not against them, in an unnatural way, forming walls 
for them to pass between. Obedience and faith exercised always bring good results. Trust him. He will never disappoint you. Dear loving Heavenly Father, I am so thankful you are sovereign over everything in my life. I am so pleased I can trust my care upon you because you care for me. Yes, the future can be scary at times, but I am assured in your word that you are constantly saying to me, Do not fear, only believe. It's not easy, Lord, but please calm my fears and strengthen my trust. There appear to be many obstacles before me, probably like in the wilderness experiences for the Israelites, but at every seeming barrier you carried them through. Please carry me through, as I trust in you and your almighty strength. I know your plan is for my success, as I desire your will for my life. Elisha took over from Elijah, and Joshua took over from Moses, and both were successful. Such an encouragement to me, Lord. Thank you, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for joining us on Partakers Think Spot. See you again real soon.